The chemical formula that we found in the last video is called the empirical formula. The empirical formula is the simplest ratio of the elements that make up the formula. In this case, the simplest ratio is three carbons for every eight hydrogens. The actual formula may not be as simple as three carbons and three hydrogens. It may have 30 carbons and 80 hydrogens. But based on the ratio, the simplest one, C3H8, is all that we know at this point. To find the true formula, which is also called the molecular formula, we need to know the substance's actual molar mass. And this is done by a different set of experiments. So a typical problem will tell you, for example, the molar mass is known to be this number, 221 grams per mole. We want to find the molecular formula, and what we know is the molecular formula will always be an integer multiple of the simplest or the empirical formula. So with these numbers, what we're looking for is what is the scaling factor that will scale up the simplest ratio to the actual ratio. And you find the scaling factor by knowing the molar mass of the molecular formula divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula. 221 grams per mole is the molar mass of the true substance. The empirical formula, remember, was C3H8. So you can calculate the molar mass using the periodic table. 3 moles of carbon plus 8 moles of hydrogen gives you 44.11 grams per mole. These numbers should give you a ratio if you do everything correctly. That is a small whole number, and in this case, you get the whole number 5. So that tells you that this C3H8 has to be multiplied by 5 to give you the final answer of C15H40. This is the true or molecular formula, and C3H8 is simply the empirical formula.